welcome back Fuseline players. This video is going to be a basic introduction to the game. We're going to go through some of the different strategies you can use and some of the different alterations you can use. So my first favorite strategy is just to place something in my home so I can connect it to my exit at a future time. So here's my home and up here is my exit. So I'm just going to throw one in here. Something to notice about this is you have four different lines here or fuses. That gives you four opportunities to connect up to your exit. You just need one of them to win the game. So the more you have, the better. There are tiles that have only two, for instance, exits, or maybe only one. So you just want to select one that has four to be helpful. That's a good start anyway. We'll see what the opponent does here. So the opponent put down a, um, a tile that we generally would like to use for blocking, this one. I uh, see how it has a loop in it. Um, we would use it to like try to checkmate our opponent. And then this other tile, we, I kind of call it the pretzel tile, um, this one here, is another one that's really useful for blocking and also redirecting the fuses to go your way. So like if you're trying to redirect your opponent, that's a very good tile to have. Anyway, for at the moment, I'm just going to place a tile on my exit. And we'll see what he does next, or the computer. This is We're currently playing against the AI. So, okay, now that we've got some pieces, I've got one in my home, one in my exit. I'm going to work on a strategy to connect a line up so I can win the game. So I'm going to pull a tile that's going to get me moving in the right direction. And here's one tile we could go here. Or we could go here, and they both are kind of working your way to your exit. So let's use that. Oh. And here we can see the opponent is trying to block me with a loop. You see a little loop there? And you can see how it loops around. If that were to get cemented, I would lose those two exit points. So we don't want that to happen. So something you can do right off the bat is you can rotate it. Another thing you could do is you could swap it. So I could swap it. In both cases, that alteration solves the problem. So I'm just going to swap for now. All right. Now that we have one of these guys here that also could block our opponent, I'm going to swap that. And you'll see what happens. It creates a loop in here, cutting off two of his exits. So I'm going to just say OK to that. We'll see what he does. Well, he didn't do anything, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate the cement button. With a double click, you can cement that piece. It can no longer be altered. Another way to cement a piece is if it's been altered three times. So we'll take a look at the number three at the lower left here. If you click that, you can see alterations on tiles. I highly recommend leaving that on, especially for beginner players, because it's hard to remember what has been altered and what hasn't been altered. So in this particular case, I'm going to try to swap another piece, this one and this one, and create another loop. See what happens. If the opponent does not correct this, it will be a checkmate. So let's see what the AI does. Ah, so the AI tried to scramble, and the scramble is basically giving a random tile out of the bag. Unfortunately for the AI, they ended up getting a loop piece as the random tile. Now there's not as many of these in the bag. In fact, there's only one of these. So no matter what I do here, I'm going to win, which is great. So I think for this one, I'm going to rotate for the win. And the reason why I'm rotating is because you see there's two alterations here. On the third alteration, this is going to cement. So I don't need to use my cement alteration. I can just rotate it like this and confirm, and it will cement. And as you see, we won the game by checkmating our opponent.